Hello, I'm Llewellyn Falco. And I'm Lynn Langett. And today we're going to show you teaching kids programming with Microsoft Small Basic. So what we're going to cover today is just the basics of how you install and get going. And for that we're going to talk about installing the actual program and the extensions and we're going to take a look at the Small Basic recipes that we use to teach 10 to 17 year old kids how to program. And to do all that you're going to need these URLs. We'll have them at the beginning or at the end, but here's what you actually do. First, we're going to go to the Small Basic site, and we're just going to click here on the Download Small Basic. And the next thing is we're going to go over to CodePlex and get the extensions, and we're going to click on Download Now, which will give us a zip file um, that we'll be using when we install Small Basic. So when all of this is done, you should end up with both the MSI to install Small Basic and the Small Basic Fun. Now, MSI is really simple. You're just going to click on it and install like you install everything else. So it is important the order that you do install. You want to click on the MSI first, and when you're done with that, you want to unzip the zip file, and that's going to give you two files. The DLL and the XML. And you're going to have to navigate into your program files, and then into Microsoft, and finally into Small Basic where you're going to have to create a new folder called lib. And into that folder you're going to copy both of those files and it is important that that folder is named exactly lib and it is case sensitive. So after you've done that you can do a really simple test in small basic by simply opening it up and looking for the tortoise object. And if it's there then you've done everything successfully. So the last thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate out to our wiki and take a look at the recipes that we've written that we use to teach children small basic. We welcome your use of them and to get there it's just wiki.smallbasic.com and you can take a look and see the recipes. In subsequent screencasts we'll be talking about how we created the recipes and we'll be having in other information for teachers as well as students. So there's all that information again. Thanks and have fun learning.